Take two. I'm gonna do that. That's how you're gonna know it's a take, okay? Okay. Hey everybody, it's Kestrel Lennon, Senior Strategist over here at Saguno Software, and today we're gonna be talking about your email marketing for January. Now, January is an interesting time of year because we're gonna be talking about the new year, New Year's resolutions. People are very excited to maybe refresh themselves. So we'll get into that, but I'm also gonna give you a little preview of Valentine's Day, which is a very important holiday in e-commerce. I know a lot of you depend on that for some great sales. So we'll talk a little bit more about that, but don't worry, we're gonna do a whole February episode on that as well. And then finally, I've got a tip of the month. So let's go ahead and dive in. New Year's. Uh, New Year's isn't just about New Year's Eve and the party that goes on. New Year's is about a fresh start. It's about self-improvement. It's about, oh my God, what did I just eat during that whole entire holiday season? Now I need to work it off. In fact, uh, in a recent study I stumbled upon on Statistica, it seems like many people have that same idea and over 50% of people either want to get fit or they want to lose weight. I know that's something that's at the top of my resolutions list every year as well. Now, why does this have anything to do with you? Why do you care about this as an email marketer? Because your customers care. You want to solve your customers' problems with your product. If you are able to do that, they will want to purchase from you. And that's what we're trying to get across with the New Year's type messages. Your customers have made some kind of resolution. They're thinking about a fresh start. We know that that is on their mind. How does your product align with that resolution? What's your resolution solution? Eh, you like that? Eh. It's dumb, but whatever. Uh, so let's take uh, the most common resolution that we know of, uh, which is trying to get in shape, right? So the problem is people are low on time, they're low on energy, they don't know where to start, they're depressed. What solution would there be? Could your product save them time so that they'd have time to work out more? It, does your product maybe increase their energy? Does your product maybe guide them on how to live a better life? Does your product give them confidence to look better, to feel better? See how that kind of can all relate, solving their problem, helping find a solution for their resolution? Eh? Even if we look past the get in shape, if we look at kind of any New Year's resolutions that people have, you know, whether it's I want to drink less, I want to improve my career, I want to volunteer more, I want to save more money, they're all trying to get after that self-improvement. Ultimately, I really challenge you to think about your product and how you can find uh, an angle on how it solves your customers' problems right now. Fresh start messages. So what do these newsletters look like? How do other companies handle these newsletters during the beginning of the year? So up first, we've got Judy. So Judy sells kind of emergency packs so that you would need if there's some kind of calamity. And so what they've done is angled their message to say, ready or not, here comes the new year. So we've got some fun wordplay there. And then they're saying anything could happen. Let's make sure you're set up for whatever comes. Uh, which is maybe, you know, a little ominous, especially with everything's going on in the world. But I do really like how bright and simplified this message is to really effective, shows off the product and is definitely really enticing. Next up, we've got a message from Dove. Now, Dove is a huge brand. And so they've kind of got to be everything to everybody, which can limit how special each message can be. But I still like the wordplay that they've done here. Start the new year fresh. Try these go-to products in your grooming routine to fight dryness and boost confidence all winter long. Boost confidence, sound familiar with solving a problem? Uh, and all winter long, reminding people that there's still plenty of time to go during the winter. Now, obviously for a Shopify merchant, I would hope that you would have a more specific niche that you could go after. So you could spark up this copy to really go after what concerns your person might have. However, again, because this is Dove, they've got to be a little bit more general. And I think it's a fun way to interpret going into the new year with a fresh, fresh start. Great. Okay. Uh, now this one's a little bit more obvious, uh, but I think it makes a lot of sense. And I, again, really like the copy kick off the decade with a healthy start. Now you'll notice that start is on that second line all by itself. I really wish they had just made a return and it had been healthy start that would just look better. So just remember, I don't like one word on the return like that on the line all by itself. In graphic design, they call it a widow. I just think it looks a little clunky. 
And when I read across it, I just see start, which doesn't make as much sense. I'd rather see healthy start. That's just a little thing. I'm being nitpicky, I know, but I wanna make sure you see those things too. Then we get into the resolution part of the message. Whether your resolution is to stay in shape, reach your weight goal, monitor your heart, or sleep better, consistency is key to success. And then they go on to talk about their products and how they directly tie into your fitness goals. So obviously, if you have a product that ties into fitness goals, now is where you really wanna pounce. You really wanna show off the benefits of what your product does and how it solves people's problems. This next one's really fun because it's talking about travel. And that's another resolution that people often have. Tonight, make a resolution you'll want to keep. So going back to the resolution, see some of our resolutions below and trips to help make them happen. And then they break out their trips by saying, being more adventurous, do something huge, slow down and relax, explore. So they're breaking up their product to kind of talk about the different aspects of the resolution that they know their niche is going to be really interested in. And then of course, this is, I think kind of the ultimate in knowing your niche because this message is kind of revolting to anybody who maybe not feel, you know, maybe not feeling it. Um, it's, first of all, it's got a curse word in it, which isn't, you know, against the law or anything, but you know, know your audience, be careful, because some people might see this and hit spam, but it's Urban Outfitters, and they know that their audience is younger, maybe, and a little bit more into this kind of language, which is cool, and then they've got cat turds, which is disgusting. And yes, this is an example from 2013, but I was trying to make a point here. Like, if you know you have an audience who feels in a certain way, you can lean into that a little bit more. I would say be careful. You still want to, you know, have some decorum. Um, but Urban Outfitters has a long history of relating directly to their audience, so they know that they can get away with a little bit more. They have that experience. Now, I don't want to forget Valentine's Day. Did you know that this is a $21.8 billion e-commerce event? Oh, God, that's a lot of money. And and people on average who are shopping for Valentine's Day spend $166. Now that's because they are not just shopping for their partners. Studies show that people are buying more and more for their friends, family, coworkers, and even pets for Valentine's Day. So this is turning into a true gift giving event. Now, if it's a gift giving event, what is that? What's the first thing you need to be thinking of? If it's a gift that somebody wants to send, that means they need to ship it which means you need to be aware of your shipping deadlines and dates right away. This is actually such a big holiday that I'm gonna spend a lot more time focusing on it in our February video. But I know some of you are super eager, so I wanted to give you a couple of quick tips. It's a gifting event, so remember to use that gifting language, be very clear about your shipping dates, and hey, one message just isn't gonna cut it. Other retailers are gonna be bumping up their sending cadence, I suggest you do too. So probably around two to four messages in the Valentine's Day campaign is going to really make sense. Now that depends on how often you send and so forth. We'll talk about that more during February, but I wanted to give you the overarching rules so that you know what to expect. Here's a really cool message from Jenny's. Now they sell ice cream, which I didn't think of right away with Valentine's Day, but They've really pulled me across with the copy that they use. Avoid the cliche minefield that is Valentine's Day with these three little words, Jenny's ice cream. It's like whispering sweet nothings into the ear of your loved one, only a lot less weird and way more delicious. I love that it's fun. They realize what they're doing and it's, it's really cool. The spoon and swoon uh, title is also really great. So I think it's a, f a fun way to feed into the holiday, making a, it a little bit humorous, kind of admitting it's a little bit of a silly holiday. And I'm sure, that I don't have the message example here, but I'm sure they would also do one where it's like, you know, you could ship this to a friend or family member. I think that there's a lot of range that they could get out of this. Other message from hers, I really like. Fall head over heels for hers. Great alliteration there. The sexiest thing you can do this Valentine's Day, take charge of your sexual health. Hers makes getting birth control pills easier than getting flowers from the deli. I really like that because it's all about focusing on self-care and helping yourself during Valentine's Day. So often we get wrapped up in gifts for others, but as humans, we also want to treat ourselves well, and they're feeding into that. So if you sell a product that somebody might want to treat themselves with, then Valentine's Day is still something that you can capitalize on. All right, like I said, coming soon more, what to send in February, we're going to go through more of this. Please take a look at the template store. We are going to be adding so much more to that throughout all of this year, 
but please, we've got things for Valentine's Day, for any holiday you might think of. We've got campaign templates that are a series of multiple newsletters. We've got a lot in there. Go take a look. Now, finally, for the tip of the month. Now, this is something that uh, it's very quick. It'll just take you a, month, a moment. But I want you to go to the Saguno dashboard and take a look at the connections page. So dashboard connections. Now you'll see a variety of different connections in here and I think they're all really great. But of course there's some that stand out to me. First and foremost, the Instagram connection. If you are creating beautiful content on Instagram, why not also use it in your emails? Save yourself some time. Put those great images in your emails too. And instead of just downloading them from Instagram or from your phone and then putting them into uh, Saguno, why don't you just go ahead and connect your Instagram to Saguno so you can access them right away. Just takes a moment, but then saves you time down the road. We also have a connection with Facebook so that we can bring any leads that you bring in from a Facebook lead ad right into Shopify as subscribers to, so that you're ready to send to them. And then finally, we support a number of different review apps. You can connect with those and be able to put that review information into your newsletters. Uh, by doing that, I think that it obviously gives you an opportunity to use social proof more. People like seeing that something got five stars. People like knowing how well something did that helps you sell more product. That is all I have for you today. If you have any questions, you want me to focus on something more next month, please leave a comment. I wanna hear from you. Like, subscribe, we've got way more coming this year. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. That, I don't know why I did that. That was weird. Whatever, it's fine.